Before we begin, I know what you're thinking. And no, I am not trying to be Spamton. So many comments are telling me I look like Spamton. Spamton does not own the concept of cool multicolored eyewear, all right? I, I did it first. Look, the first drawing of my character dated July 2020. That's a whole year before this Cromer pinching hockey puck took Tumblr by storm. If anything, Spamton stole my style. I bear zero resemblance to Spamton G. Spamton Delta Rune, the monumental RPG hodgepodge of several interlocking mysteries tied together by a fantasy adventure and a cast of verbally shit posting inanimate objects that's had my life in a death grip for the past year. And when I say it has interlocking mysteries, boy howdy do I mean it. Whether it's the finally focusing view of Dr. W.D. Gaster, the vague details of the Angel's Heaven prophecy, the consistent trail of small men being driven crazy, or whatever the hell is going on with Chris. There are a lot of things to speculate on in this game. Though there's been one mystery that's lingered since the very beginning that's been largely overlooked. But when put under the magnifying glass, it shows something I find to be incredibly relevant. So let's take a look at Okay, I know this is being built as a Deltarune video, but most of what I have to talk about comes from Undertale. A lot of the Deltarune relevant secrets in Undertale have already been picked apart from the moon and back. You got your Gasters, your Goners, your Clam Girls, your Weird Back Rooms, your Dead Monster Kids, your 1-2-3-2s, all that junk. But there's one room in the game, room 272, that's been largely shrugged off as something like a developer test room, mostly because it's completely impossible to enter without extensive file editing. Even with Gaster and the followers events, well, in incredibly rare, most of them can show up in the game without having to touch any files. You just gotta get really, really lucky. With this room, however, it's completely impossible to get into even when editing the files you'd use to get to the Gaster stuff easier. Apparently to get in, you either need to figure out how to enable a debug mode or a hexadecimal editor needs to be used to change the dog check value and that is where I gave up. So with the power of YouTube, we could see what's going on in here without having to Google what a hexadecimal is. Thanks to Fags on YouTube for the footage here. Now let's take a look at what lives inside room 272. Well, that's ominous. We find ourselves in a completely black room with a single sprite at the very center. The sprite fades in and out of view depending on how close the player gets to it. What the sprite is meant to look like is debatable, as it is incredibly abstract, most likely intentionally, but the common consensus is that it's a tall woman with long hair hanging down over her face. This, of course, is just speculation. The room itself, while its room number is room 272, is also titled room underscore water underscore redemption in the files. The sprite in the center of the room is titled SPR underscore redacted underscore A, and when you interact with the entity, it speaks a single word in lowercase wingdings. When decoded, all it says is, you guessed it, redacted. When exiting through the bottom, you're put into the sound test room, which is widely known to only exist to present Gaster's theme. When it's completed, the game closes. Yeah, that all seems way too specific to be just nothing, but we're not done yet. This is where things get weirder. From what I can tell, there seems to be remnants of an incomplete, unknown event in the game's files. An event made out of two interactable objects that have a link to one another. Of course, you can't access these events normally in-game because they are literally incomplete, but they can be placed onto a map for them to work. I think, I, I don't know, I'm no like programmer, I don't really know how any of this works. M basically these things were in the game's files and anyone could place them into a room for them to work, I, I think. So that's exactly what a YouTube user by the name of Ocean Bagel did. They took the two linked and otherwise inaccessible objects and put them into the ghost house room and it worked. Here we have a crude brown sprite and a trash can. Interacting with the brown sprite, the flavor text says, quote, it's a horse stable. Do you want to go inside? You're then presented with a yes or no prompt. If you select no, nothing happens. Selecting yes, you jostle the door. It's locked. Suddenly, from inside of the river, <laughs> you hear a... And then it just cuts off there. Cool. After that, you head over to the trash can. Interacting with it, the flavor text says, quote, You found a trash can. Inside the trash can was a key, barely visible to the naked eye. You take it. After that, it says the trash can is empty. So you have the key to the horse stable now. Heading back to it... 
Okay. The redacted entity now appears inside. Interacting with it. It just speaks a single letter in wingdings. X. So, how are we feeling? This is all pretty unnerving, but the one thing I want you all to take from this video is that all of this, it's not nothing. This isn't just some weird developer test room. All other developer test rooms in the game's files are blatantly obvious to be just that and nothing more. Nonsense texting graphics definitely meant to be, well, testing something and nothing more. Not made with the idea of anyone actually seeing it. Here though, not only am I not sure what any of this is supposed to be testing, but all of it was made with a sort of presentation that feels incredibly intentional. Like it was meant to be seen. Like it's meant to tell us something. The consistency of everything relating to this sprite being labeled redacted should be enough. No other test room has had this kind of consistency. We were meant to see this and to question it. So, in the context of this being something, then what is it? Uh, well, whatever it is, it definitely has some very direct ties to Dr. Gaster. From Redacted's room leading to the sound test room, which only exists to display Gaster's theme, to Redacted literally speaking in literal, actual wingdings, the only moment in the entire game in which the wingdings font is used outside of entry number 17, Redacted is 100% affiliated with Gaster, somehow. So that does it for all that we know for certain. Now we're just left with questions that might might be answered in Deltarune. It is kind of the Gaster game after all. Though, at least it will be. But for now, redacted. How are they connected to Gaster? What are they doing here? Who are they? What are they? Well, I have one theory. The old royal scientist, Dr. W.D. Gaster? His brilliance was irreplaceable. They say he created the core. However, his life was cut short. One day, he fell into his creation. They say he shattered across time and space. It could have been the core, or it could have been something else. But whatever Gaster fell into that day erased him from all of reality, past and future all at the same time, possibly even including people's memories like he never existed at all. Yet, shattered across time and space, he was still there, aware, almost alive, on the outside looking in, watching and listening to the world living on without him. So, let's say, in that conscious state of literally not existing, you can make the choice to keep moving on and to persist otherwise. Gaster would have this drive, considering his experimentation with determination. Somehow, in this hopeless state, Gaster persisted. But what if what happened to Gaster could have happened to someone else as well? It could have been anyone. This anyone, what if they fell into the core or whatever Gaster's creation was, and got erased from existence as well? And what if they didn't choose to persist? What if they saw that the world moved along just fine without them, that none of it needed them at all? Watching their friends and family moving on with their happy lives after forgetting they had even known you. Is it even worth it, they would think, to keep going when even if they could escape from this, they would have no home to return to? No place in the world? Surely, they would be just as alone as they are now. So they give up. 
They just choose to sit in eternal non-existence, alive and dead at once, wiped from reality, forever redacted. Or it could just be nothing. Who really knows with these games, right? Hey, thanks for watching. Also, I'm back. Sorry it's been such a long time since my last, uh, uh, first upload. It's been like five, oh, oh god, that's, that's five months. I apologize for the wait. A lot has been going on with me, but I'm happy to say I'm going to try and keep the YouTube thing more consistent from now on. I do have another really, really big video in the works right now that should be out next month, so fingers crossed for that. All right, I got some special thanks to Special Thank. Very special thanks to Bo or Not on YouTube for letting me use their cover on the Gaster theme. They're channel link is in the description. Go check them out. They're super cool. Big thank you to Ocean Bagel on YouTube and Twitter for providing the footage for the horse stable events. And, uh, I don't know who else to thank. Uh, thank you to Born Losers Gaming for their Deltarune playthrough that I've been watching on repeat for the entirety of the editing process of this video. I don't know. They didn't do anything for this video, but I just think they're neat. Go check them out. All right. That's all I got. Thank you so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter if you want to for some reason. Happy birthday, Undertale. See ya.